all right everyone welcome to the channel here invest for tomorrow and we're going to go ahead and jump into these charts and everything i have to share with you guys but first thing that i want you guys to be aware of is that i have a short video to share with you guys now when you look at this chart whenever you come across this video whether it's a few days from now or months from now i want you to be aware that yes i started seeing the signs of a correction or crash i'm not sure just yet we have a lot to look at and a lot to see if this was the bottom and we're showing strength so whenever you come across this the stock market could be a lot higher or it could have recovered from this point forward or it could be very turbulent and doing some sideways movement or even have gone a bit lower so i want you guys to stay tuned for this short video and after this short video i'm going to share with you guys all there is here in invest for tomorrow and what you can obtain as a learning beginning and experienced investor stay tuned 39.50 and it's been going down since so one thing i want us to pay close attention to is if the market continues to build this behavior this is the behavior that i'm seeing right if it continues this and we're hitting newer lows and it continues to hit these peaks right then the market is struggling to hold itself up because the repurchase agreements of these dates do not exist right now and a lot of people don't realize how much of an impact the federal reserve's decisions has on the overall market like the only reason why the market's been pushing up higher it's all the forward outlook and hope but it's these dates these dates hold up the market from going any lower or from staying stagnant it keeps on pushing it it keeps on creating anticipation excitement you know the speculation and the hope of seeing ticker symbols going up so i didn't really want to make this video and i i didn't want to have to but i need to make every single investor and viewer aware that we might be in the middle of a crash or correction already getting started one of my favorite trees when it comes to growth is the bamboo tree we're going to jump right into this but if you know where i'm going with this it's because you know how the bamboo tree grows and that's how i look at ourselves as investors and that's how i look at the stock market when individual stocks are being picked or looked at so let's see it takes bamboo about three years to develop its roots and establish itself in the ground three years so for three years if you don't understand how the bamboo grows you won't see anything popping out of the soil the roots are expanding the seed is expanding but for three years it's all going on underneath the soil now it takes five to seven years for the bamboo to reach maturity and be ready for harvest so five to seven years that's two to four years after the three years of development that then you could start to see the harvesting phase. So me personally, I took four years and a half before buying my first stock, but I took four years and a half to develop myself. Okay. That's what I want you guys to understand. I was determined to understand charts, understand indicators, understand like the behavior overall of the market so that when i got myself into it i was not caught by surprise now what i did was i would write on a piece of paper the entry points of what stocks i wanted to buy and when i wanted to exit and i used all different strategies using the charts and the indicators and ironically i was paper trading using a paper and writing it down what it was the entry and the exits i lost on some i won on some i wish i knew what paper trading really was Ironically, that's not what paper trading is. Paper trading is actually used on many platforms. If you want to search it up and learn more about it, I suggest doing it because a lot of people are not aware of it and you can learn a lot about the market literally for free. And you get a certain amount of capital per, per uh, trade or throughout your whole account that you could use and you'll learn a lot about the market. So check it out if you haven't already. I wish I knew about it. But I literally was writing down on a piece of paper my entries, my exits, my wins, my losses. But I was practicing the behavior of charts and noticing the correlation to how these indexes have an effect on the market. How the market sometimes goes in a different direction than the indexes depending on what sector you're in. I was just trying to learn everything that I could. Now, 
five to seven years of maturity, I don't think that's enough. I think you will never mature in the market. You'll get better at it, but there's always something new and the market is innovating all the time. So there is no maturity, in my opinion, in the market. If anything, certain strategies you can learn from and mature them, but you're always going to have to tweak and learn something new and open your mind to new sectors. And that's what we're in right now, especially in this market and all the innovation and shift that we're in. So the bamboo is mature at five to seven years and ready for harvest. So what I want you guys to realize is now take away from focusing ourselves on individual investors, but the stock market, a lot of SPACs have came out. They're going to take three years to prove themselves and develop themselves. And at five to seven years, that's when they've matured and you have a choice to harvest some of that profit, or it's your time to say they have matured. I want to go in more because now they've reached maturity and their growth could be exponential. Look back at some stocks five to seven years ago where they were, and you'll be surprised how much they've grown. And some of them were maturing five to seven years ago. And today they have expanded so much after that maturity. One of the best examples, to be honest with you, is Amazon. Amazon, uh, five to seven years ago, was re reaching its end of development and gaining the trust of the public. And it's exploded the last five to seven years tremendously. So if you look up Amazon, I mean, it's been exploding since the beginning, but really five to seven years back, you could see where it was kind of sitting in the hundreds, you know, not in the hundreds, hundreds, it was a couple hundreds, like anywhere between uh, two to $400. And after that, it took off. So that's a really good example of a company that took years to develop. It took three years to develop or more. It took five to seven years for it to reach maturity and it still wasn't mature in the eyes of the market. And then all the way back after 15, 14 years, that's when it actually reached maturity, which was five to seven years ago. And we've seen the explosive growth of the company. So you need to start thinking like this about the market. Swing trading, day trading, and options plays are awesome. That's a great strategy. But if you really want to be an investor that maximizes profits and minimizes losses, you got to think long term. And you got to realize if you're in the development stage or if you're still developing. Okay. That's one of the first thing I want you guys to be aware of. I hope that this gave you some perspective and opened your mind to a new perspective of the market and also what it is that you're trying to do and participate by being in the market. All right, so let's go back to the chart and I want you guys to see something that is very interesting. So we see here the chart, right? The chart's been going downwards and this is what we know for the last month. Sometimes in the short term, the charts look terrible, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, like what is happening? We're going downwards and this could continue to go downwards or this could be the recovery from this bottom. But if you were just looking at this short term, you would think the market is terrible. It's going downwards and you're not realizing the bigger picture. Now, everyday chart analysis are so important and that's why I do them because they allow investors to be aware of great entry points or exit points. But let's zoom out and see something for a second. And this is what I want you guys to realize why you have to have the strategy of a long-term investor and you can day trade, swing trade, but you want to have a foundation of a long-term play. So let's zoom out a little bit here. So one of the first corrections I see here was back in 2011 and it had dropped, right? Every time these drops happen, it's the beginning of the next bull run. And you could see that there was a bull run till 2015 from 2015 all the way to 2016. Things were kind of rocky here, right? In August, all the way to February of 2016. And what happened? The stock market went down, went up and it went down. This was the beginning and stirring up the next bull run. And you could see the next bull run here. Then it dropped again. It got a little rocky, but it had a small bull run dropped again, had another bull run. So every time these drops happen, it's the beginning of the next bull run. Now, this was the biggest crash that we went through, but that was the beginning of the next bull run. Now, a lot of people would say that the Fed went ahead and kind of helped this bull run. 
And that's true, but that doesn't mean that the Fed created all of this. These bull runs happen naturally, and you could see the pullbacks. And every time in these pullbacks, it was the beginning of the next bull run. So what do I want you to understand? Well, if the market was to continue pulling back in this trajectory that it's in right now, if this was the bottom, the opportunities were there to get on in as it was going down. Now, this is not financial advice. This is just me telling you my thought process and how I look at the market. Now, the fact that we're in a recovery here slightly and it looks like we might continue that direction, that is a good sign for the market because this was the beginning of the next bull run. And if we continue in that direction, great. If it pulls back even more and it gets a little more turbulent, we're still in the midst of the beginning of the next bull run. And as it's going down, this is when you need to look at stocks like a hawk, especially the ones you believe in, the ones you like, and that you think that have potential. And you get your rational decisions based off of your due diligence, and you'll see that that will be the beginning of the next bull run. Now, in the short term, it looks like it's just pulling back. But if you think about the bigger picture, that pullback is just a small opportunity for the big run that is coming. As always, guys, I hope you guys learned something new. Subscribe, share this with your friends and community. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.